Hello everyone and welcome once again to another edition of Friday Night Yakuza here on the Tilty House channel of Twitch.tv broadcasting of course to you from within the palatial crystal gondola of the main Tilty House studios here in beautiful downtown Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Folks, it's uh, it's Friday. It's actually looking pretty beautiful out there right now. Uh, the time is uh, is upon us when 6 p.m. is no longer as dark as it once was. Um, I guess that's just how the earth do with the wobbly of the seasons. Anyway, uh, yeah, we are currently uh, in the next episode of our long wind down from uh, the, the high, incredibly weird highs of Yakuza 3. Uh, but just to say, we're doing uh, the sub-stories and mini-games, and we might as well throw it right up there on the screen. Whoops, I definitely didn't mean to put that in there. Hold on a second, and boop, there we go. Uh, ooh, maybe I can adjust that, yeah. See, this is the problem with, with the sun, is that it, uh, it causes problems with, uh, uh, with electronics. The sun, not even once. I mean, maybe the one time, just to get everything started, but from there we should be able, if we can harness all of the power through some sort of sphere, um, I don't know, maybe that, uh, a sphere that could vacuum the, uh, the photons out of, out of the world. Uh, wow, out of the world. That's uh, you know what I, I'm I'm starting to go a uh, full Bond villain here, so I'm going to uh, close down that particular line of speech. Much like I've closed down the filter section, everything appears to be good. Uh, have to also thank Sky. Well, I, mean, I don't have to. I am uh, proud to thank Skylar Ringtail for their uh, twelve one full actual happy birthday month of uh, of uh, subscriptions. Congratulations and thank you for uh, coming through. No game audio, that is correct because I have not yet unmuted it. And there it is. You get it now. You get all the Kiryu songs in your ears. <clears throat> uh, in terms of other business that we usually get through, uh, tonight's beer is... Controller. Tonight's controller is responding. Tonight's beer is the chromatic IPA from Category 12, um, because unfortunately the, uh, on the, as the other piece of business, uh, Goro, the, the mini, not the man, uh, is still not back from the shop yet, uh, turns out. We took it back for its, uh, its follow-up appointment and uh, discovered a bit more leakage around some engine mounts and a bolt on the, uh, the water pump, and also that apparently the... Uh, it has enlarged radiator hose syndrome, so we're going to need to uh, uh, replace the hose and, and get a new one. Uh, much like uh, Hexilexi has done on their Hubba 11-month subscription, turning it in and turning it into a 12-month, one-year subscription. Thank you so much, Hexy, for being a part of this, uh, of this channel and this community. Happy to have you here. You are, you are much like all the people here, loved and appreciated more than you know gonna steal that one from you today <laughs> uh right but yes sad news <laughs> is the car is uh is now stuck in the uh the garage without a, a, a radiator which means it cannot be driven home or used intermittently by me uh and so we had to have uh our, our keg delivered to us which is apparently something the category 12 does so <laughs> uh that was that that was interesting to have a uh, a rather chipper man delivering that keg uh anyway so that's where we're at right now. Um, lack of transportation and my uh, less... Oh, yes, this has been the first week back in the office. Uh, just to say, uh, we're, we're doing the... the Provincial government is doing the hybrid thing, at least my department is, where we uh, are forced to go in three days out of the week and uh, can work from home, you know, doing the exact same job with... Uh, you know, uh, no, no waste to do uh, commu commuting times, no uh, environmental impact. Anyway, we, we can work from home two days. Uh, that's the, uh, that's, I guess, the compromise they came up with. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, apparently, well, no, it's, it's public knowledge now. Uh, the union is not happy uh, with, with the government uh, uh, as it stands, uh, and we're in negotiations right now. And uh, they are not budging on a couple of key things like a uh, fair pay uh, increase to uh, offset cost of living and also uh, the work. So 
sorry, I think a substory just found us, actually. Um, wow. Iris, I'm sorry to hear that that conference is similar to what your job has been doing since last July. They've been trying to get it uh, to happen to us. Um, they, they kept pushing it back and pushing it back, and now it's finally starting to be implemented. And, uh, you know, given the, the rising uh, numbers, I, I think it might not stick around. I am the only person, one of two people in the building uh, that I think are, are, are wearing masks full time. And I absolutely am not going to be taking that off because eight hours of exposure a day is eight hours more than I'd had previously. I'm not, I'm not ready for that kind of exposure. Anyway, that's, let's, let, let's get off uh, the, the unhappy uh, talk train and let's uh, enjoy whatever this con man is about to, to bring to us. Oh. What do you think you're doing? Huh? You pups, look what you did. Ellipses? Huh? This smart ass thinks we're gonna let him fuck around with us. <laughs> you guys are in a good mood. What? Well, if this isn't our old friend, we might have let you off easy before, but no such luck this time, ass swipe. Oh, Willie! Welcome, Sugar Shot, and uh, Cursed Chat Raiders. Uh, happy to have you here for whatever this is going to be. It's going to be great. It's going to be Kiryu uh, taking out a con man group in his mask. And that's going to be a luchador good time. Ah, Iris, that is a nightmare situation. Holy hell. Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, not, I'm not going to read that, that, that out for the benefit of, uh, of not spreading that nightmare situation to, to others. Yeep. <clears throat> oh, thanks, man. Anarchy's hurt bad. The fuck are you going to do about this? Mm -hmm. Are you all right? Don't worry, we got you. Just tell us where it hurts. <gasps> I broke my legs! I can't walk! <laughs> Looks like a compound fracture! Anarchy might not make it, guys! I love this guy's eyes, by the way. These, these, these eyes are special eyes. <laughs> Oi. How are you gonna fix this, asshole? Start talking! You tell me. What would you like? Uh... Well, for starters, how about a hundred... No. A million yen for compensation. Huh? You got a problem with that? Haneke here is a world-class athlete. That was his golden leg, worth a hot mill. <laughs> Think you can take on this many of us? You better pay up if you want to know what's good for you. A million yen. Oh no, no, no. I'm afraid you gentlemen will be getting zero of our yen dollars. Why well, should I give you anything? He isn't even hurt. <laughs> you got balls standing up to a group of muscle heads, old man. Huh? I think it's time you take a little swim in the Okinawa and see. This is not normal battle music. Uh oh. Let's hit people with people. Then we'll hit people with bicycles. Ooh, ooh, wait, wait. Then we'll hit bicycles with people. It's all coming together. I mean, the bicycle isn't coming together. The bicycle is very demonstrably coming apart. But hey, that was mine! No touch! Now, where were we? Ah, yes. <laughs> that was fun. Are you finished? 
We're very sorry, except for the man in the back, who is oddly... Oh, he, he, he does blink. That's important. We got confused again. I'm getting punched. Help fix my leg. Yeah. Really? Did you hear that, mister? You fixed his leg. Here, I hope this covers your trouble. 50,000 yen. This guy on the right here, he actually... Look at his face. That's, that, that is a face full of true remorse. We, wait, Anarchy. This is not, not right. We can't let him do this to us. Dude, shut up before you piss the nice gentleman off. I can't believe this. So that's it. That's so lame. Is something wrong? Yeah. Nope. Not a thing. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Mm. And they disappeared. Fantastic. Okay, so that was just a, uh, this is a fight that needs to happen side story. Let's go get ourselves engaged in an actual sub-story. In fact, let's go learn about English. Before. Looks like you're getting pretty friendly with that beautiful brunette, wink wink! You've been... wait, you've been watching us? <laughs> That's not what's important! What really matters now is your heart! Listen, you'd like to be more intimate with a female companion, in more ways than one, right? So, why don't you buy our love handbook, right now, for like, I don't know, 5,500 yen? I'm pretty sure the title says it all. If you know what I mean. So will you take the plunge and witness your love life change forever? Or are you fine being bone dry? Jesus. This lady's, uh... Th this lady's... Into it. Oh, 55,000. Yes, you're correct. Sorry, Hexy. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, absolutely. 55,000 yen. Yes, it should be all there. Mmm! Nice and crisp! Well, here's your love handbook! It's practically a conversational Kama Sutra. Also, why are the bells crisp? Why are you storing them on your body that could possibly be crisp? English textbook on dating. It's, as Dark Morph reports, points out, yeah, that is pretty much uh, standard tech college textbook prices, so perfect. All right, here it is. A section on conversing in the bedroom. Why don't you come to my room? Let's make sweet, passionate love. Now, before you get too excited, remember, whether she gives you a yes or a no depends on how smooth you are. <laughs> You're pretty smooth. Our English handbooks give you exactly what you need to know so you can be the lover you're truly meant to be. Now I hope you enjoy the course and as we say in English, have a nice day. All right. I guess we'll just stump Jesus clown. I guess we'll just stumble into her at some point. What's going on here? <sighs> now, listen, Yoko never came home yesterday. I know you girls are with her a lot, so please, did you happen to see my daughter anywhere? She forgot something at school yesterday and went back for it. That's the last time I saw her. It was in front of the station. She never came home. Yoko doesn't seem like that kind of person who would run away. Maybe she was kidnapped by the Phantom Tour Guide, which is a thing that exists. Haruko, don't say that, especially not in front of her mother. What's this, what's this Phantom Tour Guide all about? Oh, it's just a silly rumor, like an urban legend or something. I don't, don't worry about it. Stay over there. Might be some truth to it. What? Well, I asked a shopkeeper in this area, and he said he saw a high school girl working with a 
on uh, yesterday. Could that high school girl have been my Yoko? We'll never know. That phantom stuff's got to be a rumor. People were vanishing around the travel agency. It would have been a huge news story by now. I suppose you're right, but still, a high school girl walking with a foreigner? I could have something to do with my Yoko. I, I was not aware when I started this conversation just how racist I was going to be, but well, here we are. Um, I guess... Yeah, wait, what if you says that she's in the hospital? Have you checked in the hospital? Have you talked to the hospital and asked? Because that would be the first thing I would do. Power Stone Sango. Soft Cream Factory. A subsidiary of the Dairy Family. Doom Doom. Okay, we're just here for a fight? Okay. <clears throat> Seriously, uh, more... <laughs> more introductions and in media should be done with the, uh, the Yakuza font. I mean, a lot of characters are introduced like that with subtitles in Legend of Galactic Heroes. I wonder if it would be worth going through editing the uh, subtitles to change the font on those introductions, and then adding the sound effect. Sure, it would clash deliciously with the uh, the standard uh, classical music soundtrack. He became the Joker. And uh, money equals... BD300. Or 30,000 yen. Okay, yeah, that guy just wants to uh, not fight us again. I guess talk to the quest. Let's go, let's go examine the question mark specifically. Which is... Uh, What's going on here? You're back again. What's going on this time? I went and talked to a lawyer about filing for bankruptcy, but he said I can't. He told me to work harder instead. Pull myself up by my bootstraps or something. What, what do you mean you can't file for bankruptcy? He said, because I use the loans on gambling and entertainment, I can't declare bankruptcy. Also, Spoon Wheelie Rabbit, thank you so much for joining us and uh, becoming a member of this community. Happy to have you among us here today. I hope that one day you too uh, decide not to declare bankruptcy. Then he told me to stop messing around and take responsibility. I deserve that. So you came back to the river and decided to kill yourself. Ah. Yeah, I don't know what else I can do. I told you before, dying won't help you. You took out those loans, it's up to you to find a way to pay them back. I'm pretty sure you're right, but, uh... Oh, yeah, that's it! I heard something about consolidating a bunch of different loans into one bigger loan, and how that might help me with my situation. Mm. What do you think? Should I try that? <laughs> ah, and here we see on display the American condition uh, in two parts. I have too much debt. Well, better consolidate your date. Wait, isn't that some sort of a scam? Yeah, but at least it's something. <sighs> if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Guys like you are an easy mark for scam artists, though this practice will become quite normal in uh, 
upcoming years. So you think those offers are scams, eh? I can't say for sure, but you have to watch out for yourself. If that's what you think, you're saying, then I'll have to think all this stuff a little, a little bit more carefully. That's a good idea. Remember, they're your loans. You've got to take responsibility for them. Uh, you sound just like my dad. Well, thanks for talking to me again. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you make me feel like I can get through this somehow. Not that you gave me any actual advice. Yeah, have some money that I could be using to pay off my loans. Or an energy drink. Thanks. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely treasure this energy drink. Puts it immediately in box. I'm gonna try out from now on. Thanks again! Wow. Good luck, Dark Morpher. That sounds like it could be fun. Doing some uh, SacroCon AV tech. And for all attendees, not just staff, to be uh, uh, requiring uh, masks and proof, proof of vaccination. That's basically, yeah, the only way I'd you, you'd get me back into a uh, convention situation. And even then, I'd be, I'd be wary at the moment. But that's no, that's that's great. I look forward to getting out to doing a convention where I can uh, put on a late night dub bite again. I recently had someone reach out to me uh, over email and I was quite happy that they did so because it's so rare when people email you first rather than, I don't know, adding you on main or something. Um, but yeah, they, they reached out to me, but they reached out to me asking if they could use the branding assets and some of the clips that I'd made from the late night dub fight for their own uh, late night dub fight thing that they were going to put on at their improv club. And the answer was no. I mean, absolutely uh, steal the format idea. I don't own the concept of uh, breaking up clips of, of media, uh, stripping out the sound, and then improvising the, oh, here we go, uh, improvising the, the audio, but... Uh, I am rather proud of the the branding we've got around it and the, the theme song, etc. And so I, I, I want to hold on to that and keep that. Where did he get those cigarettes from? Is he like a cigarette Spider-Man that he just secretes cigarettes? Or no, he just stores them in his chest like Astro Boy. Cool, cool, cool. Glad we have that information now. Huh, mm, okay. <clears throat> Ooh, Skylar, the nice, the nice thing about a, uh, going in a furry convention is that you can very easily just put on a full-on respirator underneath those helmets. And it won't do anything for the, the heat and moisture, but boy, at least you'll get some good filtration. Hear you, my love! Oh, Kiryu, my knight in shining armor! Hey, it's good to see you too. Why don't you come to my room so we can have a little fun? The English handbook mentions something along the lines of what she said, or at least what I thought she said. English can be a beast sometimes. Let's make sweet, passionate love, Kiryu! If she's asking for my love, then the only right answer is... <gasps> oh, I do wish we could see both of these answers, but I think we're going to have to... Yeah, I want to see how far this game is going to take this. Yes, please! Hmm. 
remember the rules of improv, Ian. Thank you, Sugar Shot. Oh, Q, I knew you were a real man. Now come show me how real you are. Let's go. Are you ready? Let's go. This is Stacy's room. What a lady. As we all know, a lady has no furniture other than a television, a television stand, a rather large wastebasket, a large paper bag, somewhat larger than the wastebasket, and a stack of, I'm guessing, what appears to be Tupperware, and an odd stain underneath the air conditioner. Hmm? <laughs> oh, before you sit down, down and dirty, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. What exactly is going on here? <clears throat> well, I'm going to introduce a special instructor's course, only available to those valued customers who have purchased all the handbooks, such as yourself. Once you're registered for the instructor's course, you'll be qualified for a 15% profit margin on every handbook you sell. Sounding good already, but wait, there's more. You'll also receive 5% tuition fees from any and all instructors who sign up the program through you. You'll be rolling in the cash before you know it. The instructor's course is a totally great deal, QUSM. Let's become English teachers together. Wait, your Japanese isn't broken at all. You're fluent. Well, duh! And besides, if you sign up for the instructor's course, I can instruct you on a more intimate level. If you register now, I'll mark off some of the additional fees and bump it down to like 250,000 yen. Not a bad deal, right? Absolutely, a absolutely. This this is a pyramid scheme that appears to be on the ground floor. So we are gonna rake it in, baby. Two hundred fifty thousand yen. I guess I could part with that. If not, my daughter will probably bring me around to this anyway. You made the right choice. Now then, here's your instructor's handbook. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we got the English teacher's textbook. Okay, Sam, instructor registration is to the end of next month. Once you finish that, we can send the promoter's handbook to your address and you can start making that money. Oh, and promoter's handbooks are 500 or 50,000 in each. Let me know when you want one, okay? Wait, what? Bye, Kiri, you said. Oh, but before you go, you can have this. This is the stuff that'll really get you in the mood. Wow, Th thanks for the energy drink. I, I guess we'll send that to the box as well. Super ellipses. Well, that was a satisfying end to that, uh, or middle to that story. Yeah, real big wow. Um, right, let's, you know, maybe we should have a look at the, uh, the things we've been given. These are the things we're given. That was the free English textbook. That was the beginner. Statue of English is such a good name. Mm. The intermediate, it has words for dating in it. And this is, uh, the conversation textbook. I don't know about this. And then finally, I sure got suckered. No, no, I think you are exactly where you need to be, uh, Kiryu. We are going to be uh, the champion English teachers in this town. All right, sir, what do you want? Hi, I'm Tom, 
If you want to see a military base or get to know the place, then I'm your guy. That's oddly specific. How about it? I can show you a nice barbecue spot. The service is the best in town. Wasn't there a rumor about people being abducted? No! By a foreign phantom. No! Or something in front of the station. No! How about it? I'll give you a fine tour. I... Do we ask about the girl? You know what? Let's ask about the girl and see what this does to him. Actually, I heard a girl recently went missing in this area. Do you happen to know anything about that? Nope. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. Not even the slightest bit. Did the entire world just kind of pause for a half second? Well, all right then. If you decide you want to find Tour of Okinawa, come back and let me know. <laughs> the run back to position was mm, choice. Yeah, I'm. I, I, Sarah, you're exactly right that hopefully this is a story about how racism is bad and hopefully they pull it off better than the one earlier in the game. But I, as you also, have uh, low hopes about that. Uh. You know what? I don't know, uh, Sugar Shot, if we're actually in Okinawa. The only evidence I've had is that... Oh, wait, are we holding hands? Almost. Oh, that's... The mood is electric. Uh, yeah, the only evidence I have is that we got on an SR-71 a couple ba uh, episodes back, so... How about it? I can show you a nice barbecue spot. Their service is the best in town. And wasn't there a room? Okay, yeah, no, no, we'll, we'll, we'll accept the offer. Well, not an actual SR-71, Dr. Fox, just something that, that, that walked like an SR-71 and quacked like an SR-71, but didn't need the mid-air refueling. Uh, don't worry about it. Our, uh, our, our false father, our, our uh, uh, what are we, uncle? <laughs> what? <laughs> um... Yeah, the, the plot made it happen. We, we had to get back to Tokyo real fast, and uh, only the CIA could help us before we had to punch a lot of the CIA. It's it's all up on YouTube.com slash loading... Wait. <laughs> Tilty House Streams. There we go. That's it. <clears throat> Fine. Show me around town. Ah, thank you, Sarah, and thank you, Tilty Bot. Everything is working together perfectly. That's what I like to hear. You look like a drinking man. How about I take you on the special adult tour, okay? Okay. Sure. At least my favorite club song is, is, is playing. Ah. <sighs> What do you think? Pretty happening place, huh? And that special cocktail. We have all you feeling fine. Wait, we will have you feeling fine in no time flat. That was pretty good. That's right. Drink up. Feel the liquid enchantment. And once that nice sake kicks in, I'll let you tour some nice beaches, if you know what I mean. I certainly don't. Hmm. What? Okay, so yeah, now this is a story about how, uh, about how you need to watch your drinks. I put enough shit in there to knock out five horses. Nighty night, motherfucker. Wait, wait, isn't this her room? What the hell is going on? Is this, is this part of the sex triangle? I thought I taught you to target girls. What the hell am I supposed to do with this giant oaf? Sorry, Chief, but uh, he's one hefty dude. I'm sure someone would pay good money for a man like him. Maybe so, but... Who's paying good money for me now? Oh, 
Oh, shit! Dude, you drink enough tranks to knock out a sumo wrestler. Just what kind of monster are you? So, let's see your game. You pretend like you're a nice, helpful tour guide and kidnap girls for profit. You're the monster here, and you're going to pay me. Damn! He's hip to the game now, boss! How are we gonna get out of this one? We slit the master's throat, and we keep him quiet. That's how. Okay. Ah, yes, that's my superhero identity. Suspicious man. Why is he wearing a mask? That seems kind of suspicious. That's right, he's suspicious man. Hitting you with a coffee table as hard as he can. I swear I heard something go bonk there. Okay, now this nice sectional. That's right, Kiryu will help you own this sectional set for no money down and no payments till July. I'm gonna hit you with a plant now. A vibrant plant. Beautiful. A thing of beauty. You're one crazy bastard. <laughs> the plants, I'm glad the plant is fine. I really am. <laughs> You kidnapped a girl, didn't you? Where is she? Talk. All right, uh, no, no. <laughs> it looks like she's trying to draw out his his hidden uh, power timer before he has to go back to space. This is. Mmm. Thank you so much. I thought I was gonna die. You are safe now. Now, how should I deal with this idiot? These idiots. Maybe I should give the local police a call. Whew. Love on delivery. I've not seen love on delivery. I'll have to look into that later. Ooh, Stephen Chow, I'm in. All right, <clears throat> yeah, Oko, okay. you're all right. Mom! I was so scared! Don't ever worry about me like, worry me like that again. You hear me, young lady? Never sob. Oh, well, I guess now she can't ever go to the Academy Awards again because the police are here. We can't thank you enough. It looks like this uh, two-bit crime syndicate was abducting tourists and forcing them to work. Or worse. That type of activity isn't easy to track down in a place like this. It's despicable how they took advantage of people's trust here. Yes, uh, I hope they stay locked up for a long, long time. Ever since that phantom tour guide rumor started gaining momentum, the number of tourists in this area has dwindled dramatically. That's why the syndicate started preying on local high schoolers. Talk about a couple of twisted minds. Indeed. In any case, your cooperation has been vital to bringing this cooperation down. We really appreciate it. No, you don't realize what this means to me. I just don't know how or what I'd do without my little girl. Please take this as a token of my thanks. 
But yeah, that starts to pay back the, uh, the textbooks. Okay, see, hearing that, uh, uh, that, that Love on Delivery is an extremely Stephen Chow movie, that has my, uh, my interest way up. I feel like the last time I talked about Stephen Chow movies, it was on this very stream. Not this one today, but in a different, uh, time. Why did I say it like that? Like, we travel through time. We, uh, we, we do travel through time together, but not in the way that... that not in the contemporary manner. Is he gonna beat us up for this? Why is this game suddenly so real? Yep, okay, I, um... I want to give you money, actually, now, but... I guess I'm just gonna take your money! Look, if you're... If you're really hard up, you can always call me up for a reference. I'll let everyone know that you are a perfect renter. Not always paid it on time, but when you weren't able to, you always made a point of getting in touch and letting us know. My friend, my friend, I'm gonna need your help. Hold on a second. Can you come over here and stand? Yes, right there. Perfect. Damn it! You were supposed to go through the window! Okay, what's he gonna give us? You beat it into me so hard, I think I'm gonna cry. Wow! We're terrible! Uh, and there is not a substory in that direction, but in this direction. Ooh, buddy. Is there gonna be a story happening? I, I think. In the Aqua Sky? Yeah. Wait, what just happened? There we go. That's how we get into Act of Sky. <laughs> okay, first of all, we gotta inspect that, uh... That, uh, coin in the back here. A lot of people here today. Say, you look like you can heal your booze. How's about you and me play a drinking game? Sure. We're in it already. All right, I accept. It's high time somebody put you in your place. Excellent. But I think you underestimate the drinking prowess of the man of Ryukyu. So what kind of game are we talking about anyway? Well, we I see it, uh, it's no fun to sit down and drink until we pass out. So I figured we could try a simple game of instincts. The loser drinks. Sound good? I have no idea what you're talking about, man, but I'm in. What instincts exactly? And also, big thanks to Zed Alpha for throwing down a huge pile of generosity and gifting five subs to members of our community. Thank you all for being here. And thank you especially to Zedalpha for sharing the love around. <laughs> Down point out the left or right, and you turn your head. If you... The game that's taking over Baidu! We're finally gonna play it! 
face off. If you face the same direction at point, you lose. But if you face the opposite direction, you win. A lose has to take a drink. Whoever go gets fallen down drunk first pays the tab. What do you think? So the loser drinks and the drunk pays. Sure, I can accept those terms. And here we go. Which way? That's an interesting way of localizing that, but okay. Um, wait, is his face a tell? I think he's going to go to the left because one of those eyes is definitely not the way it was before. Now! Gah! I lost! Me of all people! Your turn to drink! Uh, your turn to drink. <laughs> Absolutely! <laughs> but I keep another one over here! You can really hold your liquor. Ah, that's the good stuff! Now we keep playing! Which way? Oh no! Uh. Uh. Sure, right. Now! Ball hell! Sure. Ah, lost again! Me of all people! Your turn to drink. <laughs> Absolutely, freaking lootly Barkeep, another one over here. Oh no, I see how this is going to go. You can really hold your liquor. <laughs> oh no. That's the good stuff. Now we keep playing. Which way? Um. Again? Now! Lost! Me of all people! Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Really hold your liquor. <laughs> Say, I might have had a, a, too much to drink. This is more drinks. Looks like he's out cold. Oh, thank you so much. This customer has been nothing but trouble the whole time he's been here. You deserve this for finally shutting him down. I have to thank you somehow. On behalf of all of us, here's 50,000 yen. Here, my boy, take this. It's yours now. And I thought we'd get a legendary drinker for UQ. I'll send it off to my box. Take that stuff, you won't feel bad after drinking. Norful Snork. Hey, remember the Snorful Snorks? He's out again. What should we do with him? Seems like a decent guy, despite everything. He can sleep it off in the back office. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. I had big experience, too. Great. <sighs> oh, achieve an achievement for substory fan. Perfect. Oh, we'll just talk to my old friend Dart's Explanation. Which honestly sounds like a full-on Gundam name. Ah yes, Dart's Explanation. He was uh, one of Char's wingmen for a short period during the, uh, the, the, the uh, out-of-canon Char's Deleted Affair. Now, uh, he only served on one mission, but uh, did make it home safely after only having his uh, mobile suit destroyed, but he was able to eject in time. Never came back to Xeon, though. Dart's Explanation went on to run a bar on side uh, three uh, until the, uh, until the, the unicorn incident, at which point he decided it was time to retire to Earth. Let's play darts! Oh, uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's play against someone intermediate. And let's count up.
you know, I may have uh, just skipped over that explanation from Dart's explanation, but <laughs> I'm sure I'll pick it up. Oh, Iris, do not tempt me to go out to a value village, pick up a used dart board and several different colors and, and shades of used denim jeans just to make my jarts board. <laughs> Single one, single five. Nineteen. Terrible. If I'm about to click through to a jerger, I'm going to be. <laughs> yep. The Jorger. Uh, the nice thing is I'm probably just not going to remember uh, anything about the Jarts board. Ooh, nice. You know what? Let's let's bull it up. Let's be bullish. Nope. I need to get better charts. Wow. I think what I need to do is find someone who's willing to commission me to make the jarred sport. <laughs> Although, you know, we've never done an a, uh, AFK on Loading Ready Run that is just play darts. <laughs> we did not win. Oh well. We had a good we had a good jarts time. Oh no, do not jarts me. Um Yeah, if you want to post about it uh, in Hexy, I'm 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 fine with, with that. <laughs> I think jar a jarts board is something that uh, that now belongs to the world rather than just me <laughs> especially if it's going to be coming if it if it needs to become a physical object then the idea of it needs to be set free Actually, yeah, Zed Alpha Boffer fighting sounds like a uh, a fun idea too. I think on my list of ideas to do with uh, loading Ready Live, I have uh, attend a Ren Fair slash SCA event locally. But again, that's that's. I think we're some time out from. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that there are still some. In fact, I know there are still some. Uh, or that there are some SCA events starting back up again. Um, I think we're a ways uh, from attending that as a filming crew. CBH. <laughs> no, I would love to be able to get everyone uh, armored up and uh, face off against some of those. Some of my co workers. Especially if I'm allowed to keep my. Uh, Keep my crossbow. All right, let's finish these Yakuza, and then I think it might be time for us to take a short break and maybe swap the time. 
I think we're running out of uh, daytime subquest here in Okinawa. Oh god, shotgun! Oh good, you have a toy I want. I need you to, uh, no, I need you to stand up, sir. Sir. Thank you. Now, uh, your toy. Which I hope you left behind. I think you didn't, so I wouldn't- No! Why did he get it? Gib! Putenma! How did you get it? I am upset. All I want to do is use a shotgun. It's so rare in this country. <laughs> the pursed lips made that more of a, ooh, that shot so good. What's with all these people carrying around bottles for me? All right, hitting the pause button. Get up, stretch your legs, swap your fluids. That's what I'm doing, and we'll be back in just a few minutes to spend some more time with the substories and mini games here in Yakuza 3. Don't go all the way away.
Folks, we're back here with more Yakuza 3 sub stories and mini games in Okinawa in the daytime. It's nice and bright, and you can see everything that's coming towards you. Like me! <sighs> Had to find a place where I could watch, uh, that film we brought up earlier, Love on Delivery, and got that taken care of while we were on break there, too, so. Ready for that. Right, that's the taxi man down there. So what's going on here, my dudes? It's Tantacatan time! Caught myself a big fish today, so I'm treating myself to a glass of Tantacatan. Ooh, I hadn't heard of that! That's that Perilla stuff, right? I could go for a cup of that right now with some karage and some fresh sashimi. Mm -mm -mm. Now that's a good idea right there. That Tantacatan stuff's so tasty, well, you get down a whole bottle in a couple of minutes. My daughter's a fan too. She got a drink it she got to the drinking age and she just loves making cocktails with Tantacatan and fruit juice. Drinking with your daughter? Well, that doesn't sound but that doesn't set. Doesn't that sound peachy? That doesn't sound peachy. I just drink the stuff alone. Though maybe I could get the wife to drink it with me? Ten take a ten. I should remember this stuff when I'm over at a cabaret club. I am always uh, ready to get into some ten take a ten talk. That wasn't the uh, the question mark though, apparently, or the the story. Okay, does this guy need to be... What the... Wow. We're just going to get a, uh, a fight. Cool. And then that guy on the bench ran away. I bet he was important. Like I had to take a picture of him or something. What the hell? Oh! A man with a gun? No, just the uh, geometry, right? The normal, right? Bench geom. Oh wow! Apparently, I can only bench one. That's definitely what I'm going to tell people if they ever ask me what I bench. One, and then no further clarifications. No! Whoa! That was the coolest thing anyone who's not me has done in any of these games. And I'm upset about it. Oh good, he's... Ah, oh good, he's bleeding out. He's absolutely not something we need in the quote database. Oh hey! A piece of wood! That's useful for hitting. It's you! Ow. But also, great! And what do we get from this man? A tolerable broken clock. Wait. Wait, the clock moves fine, but it runs backwards? That actually just sounds cool. Um, yeah, we'll send it. Anyway, we were here to... I think check in on this gentleman? Yes, this appears to be the guy. You're still here. Oh, you're back. Please, will you hear me out? It won't take long, I swear. Please, just a few minutes. I need to tell you how. I need you to tell me how to be a man. 
Sure. All right, what's going on? So there is this girl who works at the burger joint. The moment I saw her, it was love at first sight, but I just don't know the right way to tell her how I feel. With this popped collar and sweater vest, and I've never liked anyone like this before. And what I asked my friends at school to help me, they just made fun of me. I made it to the front of the shop today, but I couldn't get myself actually to go in. And that's where I met. So that's your problem. I don't know if I'll be much help. What would you do if you were in my shoes? Would you just straight up tell her how you feel? Or Let's see, I'd probably use English. Oh, my dude. No, yeah, absolutely just get in there. Bother her at work. People love that. Just suck it up and talk to her. Man up and tell her how you feel. You're right. I should just man up. Okay, here I go. <laughs> go for it, kid. Yeah, Silla Metal Alchemist, we should have sold him a textbook. Well, what did she say? The only thing I could kick it out was my order. Now I've got an empty heart and a full stomach. Wait, what the hell happened? Did someone else butt in on your, in on your confession? No, it was all on me. I tried, but I couldn't get myself to talk to her at all. Now what am I going to do? You really do need help. In that case, how about... Let's see... Yes! Oh, yeah, sure, invite her to a movie. Let's, let's run through these. Oh yeah, Belfer, the man up phrase I could absolutely be doing without as well here. The only thing... <laughs> What I want you to do is pull yourself up by your boot laces and fuck off. Um, yeah, let's try the movie. You're right, there's a romantic comedy out this week too. I'll go ask her. I get the sinking feeling this his invitation isn't going to make it past his lips. But he'll have eaten eight burgers by the time I'm done with him, though that'll be hilarious. How'd it go? I got a shake with my burger combo. It was almost too much food for me to eat. How many burgers does that make now? More importantly, did you ask her about the movie? Well, she was talking to one of the other workers about how she hates going to movie theaters, and it just wasn't the right time to ask her to see a movie, you know? Are you sure that you're serious about this girl? Let's see. I I don't I'm not sure if this is how it works, Kitty, but yes. Let's let's go to step writing letter. Why not try writing her a letter? If you have trouble speaking the words, you can try handing them to her. That's a great idea. I already wrote her a love letter too. Have it on me even. I'll go give it to her. And eat another hamburger. Well, he certainly came prepared. Did you give it to her? No! I bought a burger instead. The hell, man. I couldn't find the courage to give her a letter, so... I'm pathetic. What am I going to do now? This is worse than I thought. In that case... How about, let's see. <laughs> sure, text message. How about you text her how you feel? I'm not a fan of doing things like this over text, but if you can't tell her how you can feel in person, this might be your best bet. Or perhaps email her at the email address listed on her website. Wait, what's wrong? I don't have her phone number. That should have been your first reaction to that suggestion. What else? 
Let's see. Keep going. Just walk up to her and ask her out. All you have to do is tell her you're interested and see where it goes. That's how he became an English professor. What? But I can't just do that. Quit whining. Of course you can do it. Straighten out that spine of yours or I'll straighten it out for you. All right, okay, I'll give it all I've got. Here goes nothing. If this doesn't work, he's sore out of luck. How'd it go? The best I can manage right now is ordering burgers. I don't understand how you can even eat that much. Guess it's up to me to do something. Let's see. Yes! All right. I'm going into the shop and I will ask her for you. Wait, what? Look, you're not getting anywhere with this. I'll talk to her for you. You just follow me in. Wait, but you! Just pipe down and follow me. All those have recorded the plan, she'll be blinded by my abs. And that's just... And that's the way it is. Can I get a hamburger? Hell yeah! Um... Uh, hamburger, hamburger. Can I get a hamburger? Eh? Wait, why? No, no, we don't need any more burgers. Um, would you like to order? Is this, is this a sub story? Not now. Sorry about the confusion. The only reason this guy's been buying boatloads of burgers is because he likes you, and he wants to ask you out. Huh! But I'm... Would you consider going on a date with him? Oh, I'll go on a date! What? <laughs> with this older gentleman here! What? What? I like guys who are mature and reliable. Like this gentleman here. But when, what, what about, what about me? Mm. Oh, fuck no. You're not my type. I might have given you this chance if you asked me out on your own, but, uh, well, I like guys who have the courage to actually ask me out instead of ordering burgers. And this guy almost did that. What's the big idea? This isn't how it was supposed to go at all. Why am I the bad guy here? I might have thought about it if you'd asked me out, but, uh, none of the guys who don't have the least bit of courage. Uh. Okay. Well, take this as a life lesson. Next time, take things into your own hands and ask her out yourself. God damn it, the next time I meet the woman of my dreams, I'll ask her out. I swear. <laughs> we got our XP for it. Great. I don't think we ruined that, but I think we might have ruined that. Sitzman. Wait, I can't actually just take a picture. Damn it. Okay, what about this Sitzman? Nope. No free move. All right, where are we going? Uh, where are we dropping? Directly behind us. Unless this is just more information about Tanta. What? Oh, I'm into this. I know. A 
Excuse me, sir. Please come over here for the moment. Are you uh, talking to me? Oh, yes, you. Please, I need your help. What's the problem? I was hoping to treat my family to some ice cream, so I bought from that shop over there. But four six scoop specials is more than I can carry myself. And now they look like they're starting to melt. I know I shouldn't be asking a complete stranger, but please, would you help me carry them? I'm begging you. Oh, absolutely, we're here to help you. Seems you could really use some help. Sure. I'll lend a hand. Oh, thank you so much. You're much nicer than you look. Where do you want me to take these? Uh, right. Uh, just bring them up the street to the convenience store over there. Ah! They were 1,200 yen a pair, so please be careful with them. All right, I'll get them to the convenience store before they melt. Honestly, six bucks for a six stack ice cream is not a bad deal in this economy. Okay, deliver the ice cream to the man's family. Be careful not to run or bump into a passerby or you'll drop it. Think of how happy the family will be when you deliver their delicious six scoop ice cream cones to them outside the convenience store. That's too much ice cream. Yeah. Just want to watch these two guys for a bit. Ah, <sighs> video games are important. Extremely important. Okay, dude, I can't run. But you mother... Mm. I dropped the ice cream. Pay for them and try again. Dang, Snickers ice cream sounds pretty good. <laughs> People can knock me down, but you know what can't? Automobiles. No, they can also knock down my ice cream. Oh. Wait, if I walk on the left-hand side of the road... Oh, delightfully devilish Kiryu. And I am going maximum speed right now. Oh, these terrible ghosts in these cars. Look at their horribly pained expressions. They will never be free from torment. <gasps> this is beautiful! <laughs> oh. All right, family. Let's get you your ice cream. Can I thread the needle? Jesus, you... Monster of a high school joke, say, but a. All right, we'll do this again. I will buy so much ice cream. Okay, so I guess the pro strat, oh god, is to dodge everyone. Oof. 
No! Don't just decide to turn around. That's not allowed. That's not in the design document. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Um, um, child. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Daddy, what did you get us? Ta-da! Six scoop ice cream cones. Uh -huh. Oh, you're the best, Papa. Oh, Daddy does love to spoil his little treasures. And who's this gentleman? Uh. Oh, there was too much ice cream for me to carry this on my own, so this nice man helped me bring it here. Thank you, sir. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, thank you very much. Uh, there must be something we can do for you to repay your kindness. Oh, I know. Why don't you take this cone for yourself? Yes, our youngest child doesn't deserve it. Or, wait, what? Yes, yes, it's fine. My husband and I will show... I mean, my husband and I will show... Yes, right, honey? Absolutely sharing an ice cream cone with my wife. Gosh, it reminds me of when we were school kids on a date. See, I told you he wouldn't mind. Here you go. All right, if you say so. I did buy like eight of these. I'm going to put it in the box. I'm going to put it in the box. <laughs> yes! The box is now full of dry ice because we need to take this home to Karoka. I'm not sure where this came from, but it's a six scoop ice cream cone. Damn. You should find out what it's worth at the pawn shop. Thank you for helping my daddy, mister. This ice cream tastes pretty yummy. No! How about we take this ice cream and head downtown for some sightseeing? Looks like they're enjoying their vacation. Glad I could lend a hand. Good job, Kiryu. Now let's go check those lockers. Uh, oh, we have all the... Dude, we got a Stamina Royale. It goes in the square hole. We've got a... Balloon. It goes in the square hole. Ah, uh, we've got... Ooh, a Blackjack Amulet. Good, that goes in the square hole. And this... Magnetized metal. Well, you know where that goes. Shaped like a trapezoid like that. It goes in the square hole. And this. <laughs> Small motor. Oh, you best believe that goes in the square hole. And finally, this Shisabelli warmer. Uh, we might hang on to that, but this Torna Maximum that goes in the square hole. Okay, good. Ah, good lockers. How does that compare? Oh, wait, I can put it on. Ah. Yes. Ah, if you increase... Ah, if you're wearing all the sheath items, which, uh we don't have. Wait, we have the Shisa belt, the Shisa, and the goddess of ch children. Damn you, goddess of children! Okay. Um... You look like you might have a sub story. Nope. Down in the arcade. 
There appears to be some things in there. Maybe we'll also be able to find Bottle Dude. From that old uh, quest we picked up a long time ago. That looks like a fighty man. Nope, no, nope, he is passive. Good. It's quite cheap. Oh, wait a minute. Is this the one? Excuse me, I have a question for you. Yes, how can I help you? I found this bottle. Is this something you sell here? Oh, yes, we do have that one in stock here. Do you know anyone who might have bought one recently? Hmm, let me see. You know, there's a boy who comes here every year around this time to buy just one bottle. I wonder what it's for. A boy, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Even though his name, Akihiko. He is pretty close to here. He spends a lot of his time at the uh, Ryukyu Shogi, the Shogi Hall in Kabuchi Road. Kubochi Road, that's the one. He's probably the only kid there. These shogi halls are filled with old retirees. He should stick out like a sore thumb. A boy named Akihiko at Ryuku Shogi Hall. Thanks for the tip. Okay, that's gonna be, uh, let's, you know what, while we're on the trail, let's, uh, let's follow that. Uh, map me. Babe E. Lucille Ice Cream. Ryukyu Shogi! Okay, uh, so it's up by the save point. Northwards Ho! At Full Tilt Kiryu. Oh, right! I completely forgot that there was a suicide note in the bottle. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah, yeah. There are a lot. Although this... It, it is a pretty... Well, it's endemic in Western society as well, but it's certainly pretty endemic in, uh, in Japanese society as well, especially at this time. All right, let's go inside. First time in a shogi parlor. This game. Oh, probably shouldn't make a move here. A kid this young at a shogi hall? This has to be our boy. Uh, wait, did we just get another, uh, another sub-story? The HLA member that Ibuki emailed me about must be that guy over there. Okay, well, um, let's take care of this story. Well, first of all, let's take care of this story. The kid who steals another locker key story. And then we'll take care of uh, this story. Are you Akihiko? Huh? huh? Oh, oh, uh, yes, that's me. Who are you, mister? I'm Kiryu. I run the Morning Glory Orphanage, and I'm looking for more orphans. Can I murder your parent? No. Can you listen uh, to something I have to ask? Have you ever seen a bottle like this before? Oh, oh yeah. It looks like the one I bought. Uh, why are you interested in it, mister? Would you happen to know anything about this letter? Yes, it can. Anything? Whoa, wait. Yeah, I think this is... Uh... Sorry, mister. We'll play around some other time. There's someone I gotta find. Here you see, right? Follow me. Akihiku, boy detective. Wow. This way, hurry. Wait, slow down. Don't make me ch Oh god, are you going to make me chase? You're going to make me chase you. He's headed for the station. Okay, good. I don't have to chase him. I can walk like a human being. Q! 
Continue, Sam. Over here. Let's take the monorail to the beach. You got it. Yeah, everyone is correct about uh, Shogi being like chess uh, in the, the chat, from my understanding as well. Hey, we're right in front of Morning Glory. Come on, this is the way! Yeet! She just yeeted a bottle into the ocean. Could that person... Could that be the person he's here for? Mom! How did he go, sweetheart? What are you doing here? This man says he found a letter in a bottle, and I think it's the one you tossed in the ocean a long time ago. Oh, is that so? Yes, here it is. I, I found it washed up on the shore near my place, which is just literally a few feet over. Oh my goodness! This is from all the way back then! When I read it, I figured it might have been a suicide note. But I'm glad to see you alive and well. Eh. Oh, it was a suicide note! I wrote it ten years ago! I had planned to throw myself into the ocean, along with the letter and the bottle. But before I could make the jump, I felt Akihiko kick inside of me! It was like Yasu... <laughs> Yasuaki was shouting at me from beyond the grave, saying, Live, damn it! So... Wait, so you were saying that your dead husband was reincarnated inside your baby uh, while it was still in the womb, is that correct? I don't mean to be at all Colum Wow. Nope. Ever since that moment, every year on Akiko's birthday, I come to this clip to send Yasuko another letter. So that's why you bought this particular bottle. Huh? Uh -huh. It was for my mom! It all makes sense now. We were pretty shocked when we read the letter, though we might have... We thought we might have to plan a rescue. And then we spent like a couple of weeks going up to Tokyo dealing with the CIA. It was all a thing. Well, I'm sorry about that! Uh, you don't have to worry about that now, though. I have a son, and he's my world, because he's also my husband. Cool. Isn't that right, Akihiko? Yeah, I'll, I'll watch out for you too, Mom. Take good care of your mother, wife, Akihiko. Don't say that. I will. Ah, oh, thank you, sweetheart. All right, then. I'll stop bothering you and head out on my way. Wait! Here! I have some energy drinks I don't need anymore. Will you take them? They're Yasukun's favorite. I don't think you uh, came here today by chance. Hatha Andagi. Well, what's that do? It's a donut! Cool! <laughs> Gonna put that... Oh, uh, you know what? Let's put the the uh, the Torner in box. The kids at Morning Glory will love these. Thank you, and take care. Yeah, saving side stories for the premium adventure time, I think, is absolutely the stuff we want to do because when we can have a uh, a costume like this for these cutscenes. Everything is better. All right, time to give my donuts to children, if that's even a thing I can do. Oh, there's a thing I can do here. Right with Mame. I'm glad... I'm glad Haruka's still wearing that extremely hot vest in this weather. Come on, Haruka, the weather is fine. Look at me. 
and barely wearing two layers. Uncle Kaz, if they don't overlap, they're technically not a layer. Okay, what are we gonna do for Mame? Hey! Hey, Uncle Kids! Trying to get Mame to sit, but he won't do it! Please, can we try together? I really wanted to learn this! Why is Mame's mouth flashing like it's about to execute a special attack? Oh, why is the. Oh, wow! Yeah, everything is uh, very green all of a sudden in a way that I don't like. Let's fix that. <laughs> I think I too much green screened earlier. Wait a minute. That's... Filters. No, that's normal. So why is this happening? Oh, is it transparencying? Probably. Okay. Yep. 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 There we go. That should do it. Good. 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 Dang it, son. <clears throat> you want both of us to teach him to sit at the same time. Sure. Why not? I'll teach you. I'll help you to teach Mame to sit. <laughs> okay, let's go! Now let's see. I don't know. Sh shall we choose it? it? Oh no. Did I, uh... Yep. Too much removal of the green screen. So let's crank up that soldier boy just a bit. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, whoop, no, that's just all of me. Why does it want to get rid of my beard as part of the green? Interesting. Interesting. I am might need to relight things here. Sit. Great. Whoop. Come on, we didn't tell you to turn around! Whimper. No, let's see. No, make him try again. This is how this is how training works. Sit. Yeah. yeah. Arf! Ah! Why won't you do what I tell you to? Why don't you give it a rest for now? Meme looks pretty worn out. We can always try again later. From my understanding of Shiba Inus, this is actually basically par for the course. Yeah, let's do it again. Yeah, same words. Let's train them at the same time. Good. Okay, sit. Holy shit, you sat. Okay. Man, you did it! You really sat! Whimper. Now, let's see. Give him a treat. Reinforce the psychology positively. Good idea, Uncle Kaz. I think he'll remember how to sit if we give him a treat now. Here goes! Okay, sit! Woof. Good job, Mame! You really got it down! Bark, bark. 
is name the best. He can emulate all sorts of arcade boards, and he can sit perfectly now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Uncle Kaz. I want to teach him a lot more tricks. He'll help me, right? That was worth 2,000 experience points. Yep. Hey, Uncle Kaz, I'm trying to get Meme to turn around, but he won't do it. Please, can we try together? Sure. Now, let's see. Turn around. It, yeah. Whoa. Meme, you did that too. Bimper. Now let's see. Give him a treat. Good idea, Uncle Kaz. Treats. Turn around. Okay, this is not the best game, but. Okay, now part three, because there's always a part three. Well, you haven't done fetch yet, so... I don't know. I don't know, chat. Are we committed to making fetch a thing? No. Again. Tongue still flashing like special effect. Uh, special attack. Uh, make him try again. Also, shouldn't we, like, throw something if he's supposed to fetch? I guess not. If he comes back with a fish, uh, we're, we've done really well. Okay. Where'd you get that? Where, where, where'd you get that? No, what you've just taught the dog to do is gather firewood. This is not fetch. This is now hunter-gatherer behavior. And I doubt that the work that he's bringing in is worthy of the expense that it takes to get those dog treats that you're giving every time he brings back a tiny branch. That said, he is now definitely the, the a multi-arcade... Uh, Emulator. Sit, Wolf. Good. Turn around, Wolf. Or turn around, Arf. And fetch. <laughs> Former co-workers had a Goldie, says Iris, who, uh, brought home a random salmon one day. Not sure from where. I mean, whew, I, at least in the the, 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 uh, the the Canadian South Pacific, uh, we do have rivers and creeks where one could potentially find a, a, uh, a stray wild salmon. However... Thanks, Arkez! Now Meme can hold his head high up around all of his doggy friends! For being the most subjective! What's that? You want to give it to Uncle Kaz? What is it, boy? Why does the dog have an energy drink, too? I'll put it in the square hole. Now, what do we have here? Must be a present for Mame. He wants to thank you for helping him get so smart. Sure, thanks, Mame. Woof, woof, woof. All right, back to town for more of whatever the hell's going on. Can we teach Mame to kill and go back and redo the final plot to Skyrim Dale? 
I'm... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be much better. Just have a dog launch into a man's neck on the top of a building and continue off all the way. And then you wait 20 minutes and the dog comes up from the elevator. Oh! Oh, hell. Should have seen it coming. Yeah, Street Sharks wasn't really good until they turned them into sharks. Oh, oh, yes! Mascot smash! Okay. Special commute! Is anyone still- oh, you're still alive, okay. Well, not so much. My face is great, good to know. What stained comfy souls? Those go in the square hole. Love to receive sweat-stained objects. Nope, 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 not falling for your fighty tactics again. We're on a mission to a question mark. Of course, every possible question mark. Ah, oh, hell! Well, someone's got to go through the window. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, uh... What's the count now? Thank you for your bench. Ooh, a neck should not bend like that. just be able to take the toughnesses and put it directly in our mouth in these sorts of situations because that's we, we could actually use that right now that beautiful woman has to work here no doubt about it but that means she works at a uh, uh. kid what are you doing sorry I just uh... is something wrong Oh, God, you're the guy from the burger joint! What bur Oh, God. You're that kid from the burger joint. Remember, you said you'd get me on a date with that girl who worked at the burger shop, but it was a total bust! Right, I remember you. You're the one who practically... It was practically orbiting that hamburger place. Okay. Have a good night, Sean. Uh, hopefully you'll get all rested up. You sure have changed a lot, though. I would never would have figured you were the same guy. You look like a complete asshole now. Well, yeah, but I fell in love with her way before you came along. That was five minutes ago. But because I asked for your help, she turned me down. I really liked her, too. So, what are you doing now? Kids like you shouldn't be hanging around places like this. Yeah, I know, but I saw this incredibly beautiful woman go into this club. I wanted to see if I could talk to her. Come on, kid. Don't tell me you've fallen for a bona fide hostess now, have you? Oh, she looks so gorgeous. Just like a movie star. There's nothing about her that the girls in my class don't... Wait, there's something about her that the girls in my class don't have. Mature, feminine charm. Or cash. I mean, one of those. It's got to be it. That's why I changed up my outfit. Uh, look a bit more grown up. Be a real man worthy of a real woman like her. 
And what do you think? I got to get it from the store over there. Also, I'm underage, so I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to buy uh, the requisite alcohol I'm going to need to uh, spend time with her. I... Is that how it is? I mean, you don't look so bad. Oh, she's older. Maybe as old as my hands look. Maybe she can teach me all sorts of things about romance or even about adult stuff like taxation and oh, public action. Oh, filing for property taxes. Does it matter? In any case, you shouldn't walk the entrance to the club. You'll only cause trouble. Yeah, I guess you've got a point. I wouldn't want to make trouble for that beautiful woman anyway. I'll wait on the other side. Not to make light of it, but did we just trigger another suicide-based story? <laughs> Slipping a bit into the Ferengi. Correct, yes. Look how they... Final their emails. Ugh, they clothe their email. Which reminds me, I need to get on top of uh, transitioning away. Oh god, dudes, transitioning away from uh, Google apps before they kick me off the platform. And by kick me off, I mean start demanding money from me. <laughs> Actually, let's uh, pop in here and see uh, what we can sell some stuff out for. Boop! You don't say much, eh? Uh, I am here to sell... ...things. Huh! I would have expected the blowfish to go for more money, but uh, not, apparently. Okay, gold plate, that's a, that's a thing we can definitely uh, put in the cell hole. Actually, oops, other things here. Uh, small motor balloon, six scoop ice cream, gotta keep those. And I think that's just about everything we picked up here that's new and uh, good. Yeah, the broken clock's gotta be useful for something in terms of crafting. Still like the rage sack. A muddy sack with an on-off switch inside, which triggers a realistic-sounding angry voice. Love these games. Just for what might actually be possible. Okay, yeah, I think that's everything we're going to sell. Well, I mean, there is that, that giant blue parrotfish. But I don't feel comfortable selling that fish. Okay, let's sell the gold plate. And let's hit the pause button because it's time for, as we said, second break. Get up, stretch your legs, swap your fluids. I'll do the same and we'll be back with more Yakuza 3 in just a few minutes. Don't go all the way away. Boop.
Hey, that worked. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't need to make extra noises. We're back and we're playing more Yakuza 3 sub stories and main games as is appropriate for uh, the premium adventure. I should just be saying we're in premium adventure mode here on Yakuza 3 and we are ready for more. And there's a bunch of them down in the, the arcade, which means shop based uh, side stories, which are some of my favorites. So let's, uh, let's brave traffic. And I guess have a small fight before we end up dumping it in. <laughs> Oh, nice backflip, my dude. You deserve a nap. Jenna, I said you deserve a nap. Okay, I'm gonna have to deal with Maida here for a second. I should go for a meal at a restaurant soon. Oh, Shiro! Oh! Ho ho! Bottle time! And bottle's done. <laughs> You're going to a hostess club, right? Dressed like that? A strangely small... Dude, that might be counterfeit. I mean, I was just reminded uh, the other day that uh, just how inaccessible, uh, in terms of accessibility, American currency is. It's like the, what is it, the, the only currency on Earth currently that uh, bill-based that doesn't use different sized bills, first of all. And the only sort of thing that exists in terms of governmental access to accessibility within terms of currency is that the treasury will give you a bullshit bill reader. Did you attach to the corner of the bill? It's it's terrible. Oh, oh, we're gonna fuck someone with the Dharma. Oh, Fukuchi, you are gonna get fucked up by a Dharma. Bonk. Okay, who can I beat up so I can now hit someone with a pan in the same way? That should be enough. Oh, how hard... Do I we go <laughs> and all that was was just uh slamming with a pan my dude yes why did you do that high quality fitty Goya juice. Is it Goya juice? G. Yeah, that's that, that's that's a that's a G, right? The she with the tantan and the U. I. Hmm. Okay. Let's all enjoy some Goya juice. <laughs> You idiot, how do you expect to deliver all those orders? I'm so sorry, I had no idea that so many of them backed up like that. Do you honestly think you can deliver all these by yourself? Well, no, but... I guess, if only there were a strong man, uh, without shirt or pants, and a mask that could help me. I apologize. I didn't mean for you to see us like that. 
is something wrong. Oh, it's just this dumbass over here took too many deliveries than he can handle. And it's not like we have anyone else on hand to help either. Sorry I caused so much trouble. If only I had one more person to take on deliveries, my, that would be so much help. Oh, but where could I possibly find someone who could help out on such short notice? Yes, that must be difficult. Well, never mind about that. You're here for some of our delicious soba noodles, aren't you? The order soba or help deliver it. We're, you, you know what we're here for, folks. How about if I lend a hand? I'm sure you need all the help you can get. Would you? Oh, how wonderful. We just don't have enough delivery people here. You all have to visit three locations. Shit. <laughs> the drugstore in the Kaiyushi Arcade, the Mahjong Parlor on East Hatsumachi, and the Info Center in Hatsumachi. The soba you'll be delivering there is in these boxes, so could you take them around to all three of those locations? You got five minutes. I don't want to keep our customers waiting, so hop to it. I'll pay you a part time as wages if you do a good job. The drugstore in Kariyushi Arcade, the Mahjong Parlor in East Hatsumachi, and the Info Center in Hatsumachi. Huh. Right, I'll deliver these as quickly as humanly possible. I'll be right back. Okay, we actually have to do it. I was like, dude, we actually get to not have to do it? I think I remember where all these are, actually, too. Anyway, this is the best with this particular, uh... Costume on. Out of my way, I'm a soba delivery man. This is great. This is the drugstore, right? Wait, no, where's the drugstore? Where's the drugstore? Map, map. Damn it, the drugstore is there! Backtracking! The drugstore in Kariyushi Arcade. I'm sure they've been waiting for their soba. Shadows of Life, yes, the info center is in fact the place whose window we absolutely keep breaking every time. Yes! You got here pretty quickly, too. Thanks. Okay, smell these pork ribs. You just can't beat them. Here's what I owe you. See you next time. Hmm. Okay, time to find my next customer. Good thing we've been spending this entire stream uh, basically wandering the area and getting used to where things are. Anyway, I'm going to stay on the road because I'm basically a motorist at this point. Because I am motoring. What's your style of sofa that you like? Mahjong Camp. Mejong Parlor along Kubuchi River. I'm sure they've been waiting for their soda. Soba, not soda. Hello, your Okinawan soba delivery has arrived. My beloved pork rib noodles have arrived at last. Mm. And it smells divine. I've got to eat them at least once a week, you know. Well, that's what I mean. Thanks for coming out this way. I've, ooh, I've had noodles like that. Okay, time to find my next customer. I won't mention who it is, but I'm sure we'll all find out soon. Here it is. The info center in Hatsumachi. They must have been waiting for their soba. Hello, your Okinawan soba delivery has arrived. And not a moment too soon. I'm ravenous. Come on and bring it over. Here's what I owe you. Now I gotta eat fast while the place is empty. 
That's all my deliveries. Now to get back to that Okinawan soba joint. Thank God it doesn't make us go there. Oh, you're back. I didn't expect to see you so soon. I expected, like, you know, more than five minutes so I wouldn't have to pay you as much, but, uh, this is everything they... This is everything they paid me. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. You really helped us out of a pinch, so I'd like to give you a little something. Oh, and I threw an extra to show my gratitude. Not bad for five minutes' work. Next time you visit, you can just relax and enjoy your meal. I promise. Good, because that's what I'm about to do. Eat. What can I get you today? Uh, the Rafute soba, please. With Okinawan soba noodles, Rafute cubes of glazed pork belly that melt in your mouth. It's the most expensive one, and uh, we'll be eating it today. Mm. Beautiful. Alright, next one is directly behind us, it looks like, so uh, let's head into the public market. Oh. It's you! You're part of the Ryudo family, aren't you? What? Boy, am I glad to see you! I can't handle this alone! I was thinking about uh, asking Nakahara-san for a favor. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not in the Ryudo family. Yeah? But I could have sworn I saw you step into Nakahara-san's office the other day with Rikia-kun and his pal. Well, I can't deny that. Then you and Nakahara-san are at least partially acquainted, right? I have a big favor to ask you. I have a feeling I'm not going to like this, but go ahead. First off, my name is Takeshi Kian, and I run the public market here. Lately, there have been some black market deals going on here. It's been causing us some trouble. Black market? What kind of deals exactly are we talking? Idiomate wildcat trafficking. The fuck, my dude? That's right. The Idiomote wildcat's an endangered species protected by law, and it is only found in Okinawa. Few dedicated collectors are willing to pay dealers insane amount of money for it. And they've been making deals here in your market? Why are people not dealing in black market kakapo? If there could be a, <laughs> a black market kakapo breeding ring to bring their numbers up in, in, in captivity in secret and then release them upon the wilds with no knowledge, ooh, that'd be disastrous. And they've been making deals here, in your market. Mm. That's right, uh, but I don't have the expertise needed to bring these criminals to justice on my own. Haven't you contacted the police? This is the second time today I am dealing with something that should be a legal matter. Well, I can't do that. If I got the law involved and they figure out their shady deals going on in my market, well, they will discover the other shady deals in my market. And then shut us down! For days! Think of all the business we'd lose! I won't have it! As the public market's president, I have to get this solved without us closing down! Cool! So, COVID policy for the past two years then. We have to get it solved somehow without closing down. How will that will happen? Well, that's an individual responsibility. Wow, rock pusher. I could take the idea to the Department of Conservation. But like the bird itself, I doubt it would fly. Got mmm, 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 uh, mmm. Yep. I'd be willing to pay for your trouble. You'd really be helping us look us out. What do you say? This, okay, again, again, two true statements. But we have to pick the first one. Oh, 
called Brain Bitter. I mean, we can't get Kiryu to punch COVID, but God, if there was a way that in reality we could have Kiryu just beat up a group of <laughs> anti-net mask anti-mandators and uh, that would somehow heal the nation. That would be I'd be happy with that. That would be good enough for me. <sighs> so what exactly do I have to do now? Actually, my biggest suspect is on the second floor as we speak. Also, there's this pig's head here. Uh, to your right, you may choose to purchase it for a barbecue. Wait, you've got a suspect picked out? Yes! He is a fat man with a green hat and a red Hawaiian shirt. He always shows up with those clothes whenever the Intermonte Wildcat deal is going on. A fat man with a green hat and a red Hawaiian shirt. Is there anything else I have to know about this Santa Claus? Yes! He's always carrying a big cage! You, you could have led with that. You know, I could carry it. The kind that people would carry an Inumato Wildcat in. It probably keeps the Wildcats in it. But all I have to do is look out for a man with a cage to know if he's guilty, right? Well, you'd think so, but the law actually requires intent and the deal to go down. So, uh, I thought... I caught him red-handed once, but I looked in the cage and it was empty. You need to make sure there's a cat in there. So you caught him after the deal had already gone down? It could be. Or maybe the deal went the other way and it didn't happen yet. But there's no point in catching the bastard without any reasons. Please catch him before he makes the deal. Sure. I'll be waiting here, doing nothing. Like, I do own the place, and maybe I could, you know, give you a radio, and I could watch on the security cameras and tell him where he's going and who he's meeting with. But uh, I think it's better if I just let you deal with this yourself. Let's see, a guy with a red Hawaiian shirt. Well, there's, there's a coin locker behind me that's for some reason on top of the light, but I'll get that in a second. What the... Damn it! Three guys here with the same shirt. Which one is the criminal? I guess I'll have to pick the one based on his features. I don't know. Is it the, the, the Hawaiian shirt thin man with the pet carrier? The large man without the pet carrier but the Hawaiian shirt? Or is it this guy who may have just done the deal with this woman? Hmm? What? Are you the one making idiomote wildcat deals? What? <laughs> oh, without proof. You ain't got shit on me, pal! Huh? You got proof? Show me the proof! <clears throat> that cage you've got there. There's an idiomote wildcat stuffed in there, right? Huh? Ah! <laughs> ain't nothing in this cage! Take a good look. He's right, it's empty. And it doesn't look like he's already made any transactions. Happy? Now fuck off! I'm not happy at all about this. Can you help? Welcome, sir, to X-Tiger, the house of extras. House of Extra. What the hell? A location wherein someone from your world may exist in this one. So, what exactly can I do here? I can offer you special game modes you will only find here. They are as follows Battle for Survival, Survival Tag. All-Star Tournament and All-Star Tag Tournament. How about no? You're going to leave us now. Please come us and see us 
again someday. Okay, so do we talk to, like, the other dudes? Hey, buddy. Huh? Huh? If you need something, I might not be the guy to ask. I'm not from around here. That depends. Are you the one making Iriomote wildcat deals or what? Huh? Iriomote what? Oh, wait. Someone in the building? I went to Iriomote Island yesterday, but I didn't see a single one. Come on, man. Where is it? Show me the kitty. You know what? Forget it. <sighs> You're saying, can't you do this sort of ragging up my customers? Sure, that man had a red and white shirt on, but he was too thin to be our guy. The criminal's fat, and he's got a green hat and red and white shirt. Look, if you stir this place up too much, the guy's gonna slip away. Just try to be cautious, please. I've got it. Batman, green hat, red Hawaiian shirt. Must be Santa. Must be Santa. Must be Santa. Santa Claus. Must be Santa. Must be Santa. Ah, I told you to fuck off. You got nothing on me. You got proof? Show me the proof. The red shirt you got on? The red shirt that you've got on. Huh? You mean the same shirt all these other dudes are wearing? Ooh. I are gonna need more proof than that. That's not proof at all. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, we must arrest all people in red shirts. Why do people go and keep going up and talking to him? Okay. Do we not proof? We don't need proof. The fuck you don't, buddy! If I start a commotion here with you, the, your partner's gonna come running. Then I catch him, and it's all over. The fuck out of here, man! You! The... Uh, I've got a briefcase full of cat and no time. Looks like your man's right on cue. Oh. This shit's too big for you to fuck up, man. I'm gonna grind your ass up into cat food. No. Just no. Wanna hit this man with something cool? Broke her down? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, no. No! There is a unique object on the ground! Also, Corfux, thank you for those bits. I don't believe I mentioned that earlier. Thank you. Good jokes. Damn it, we're so screwed. We told you this wasn't a good place to do business. Meow. Meow. Oh, did you hear that? You little wild catty kitty. The guy in the red shirt was trying to pick up the Irimote wildcat from the cellar here. Yeah? It was! The real deal is the guy in the cheap suit. That all makes sense now. It's about a cage with empty when I checked the man in red. You checked before the actual deal went down? So... Crap. Anyway, looks like we got two birds with one stone this time. I'd say you made it pretty good. Let's not involve the police in any way. Thank you so much. It's enough that you solved this, but you can handle it quietly. Did you hand those thugs over to the cops? I did. 
The case is already solved, and the cops are willing to wait until closing hours to investigate. The detective is pretty upset I didn't report the crime in the first place, though. But it sounds like everything turned out okay, and your reputation is still fine. That's right, and it was all thanks to you. Take this with my gratitude. Now, thanks to your efforts, the market can run smoothly again. Add another 3,000 XP. Which we should definitely turn into something later. Uh, where is our next? It's not in here, that's for sure. But wait a minute. Oh, right, is there a, uh... Fish market man. Welcome. So what can I do for you today? We also buy fish, you know. Sell him all the fish. <clears throat> I got an abbas, I got a giant blue parrot fish, and I got a green turban. Wait, I got two green turbans. Take my fish. Bear my fish. Nope, can't get out that way. Though that is a good, good tune ahead. There's, there's some big people. Big people. There are some big creatures in the ocean. And a lot of them are edible. Okay, what do these ladies want? Wait, is this the Goya juice shop? Ah, I've always wanted to try a glass of Goya juice from here, but I guess that's not happening. This shop's been closed, like, forever, hasn't it? I wonder why. It's in the perfect spot. Oh, Grandpa told me what before. He said their juice was healthy. Then it could heal any sickness. Whoa! How come it closed then? That may be the mythical joy of Goya juice was so incredibly harsh on the tongue that nobody could drink it. After all, it is Goya we're talking about. <laughs> Did you know that Goya is good stir fried with a little mayonnaise? Cancels out the bitter taste. Are you nuts? The whole point of eating Goya is because it is so bitter. That's why it's called bitter melon. Anyway. Enough with this Goya gobbledygook! This place is gone for good, so let's grab some Goya burgers instead! Tee hee! Mythical Goya juice. <laughs> I wonder if it's any good. Is anybody there? I want to get some Goya juice! Looks like the kids wants to try some of the mythical Goya juice himself. Let's break into this place and make our own Goya juice. What's wrong, kid? Really? Really? Really need some Goya juice? It has to be from here. Is there any reason it has to be from this shop in particular? Well, my mom got really sick and ended up in the hospital, so I wanted to get her better. I heard people say that if you drink the Goya juice from this shop, it'll cure any sickness you have. The kids in my class say it's a lie, but even so, I still want to get some from my mom. All I care about is seeing her healthy one day. Ah, Sarah, good. You called it. You absolutely called it. I see. So you're just doing what you can. Well, let's help find the shopkeeper. I'll tell you what. Let's go look around for the shopkeeper together. Okay! Thanks! Excuse me, is there anybody in there? Hello! Oh my goodness, what the fuck is up right now? We've been closed for years! Did you used to run this place, ma'am? A damn, wow. 
Wow. Did you run this place, ma'am? Sorry to bother you, but uh, could you make this kid a glass of your special Goya juice? Maybe put it in a bottle? So that's what y'all came for. <laughs> well, I don't know. His mother is hospitalized with some sort of illness. And all she needs is a bit of the juice to help her get back to normal. Please make some for my mom. I know it'll make her better. Well, if you put it that way, how can I say no? But you gotta get me the right ingredients. I need some Goya, Kuruzata, Basanani, wait, wait Basanai, Dugwai, and Lemon. Some, wait, what the? Anna? You heard it here, young man? I need five ingredients. Goya, Kuruzata, Basani, Dugwai, and Lemon. I can use ingredients similar to those two if you manage to scrounge something better. But that can get awful pricey. I think she was using Okinawan words. I used to hear my grandpa talk like that every now and then. Goya means bitter melon, but I don't know any of the other words. Public Market has a shop that sells healthy stuff. Bet you can find everything there. Well, might as well head to the Public Market to see what I can find. I was just about to go back there to get that uh, key that I forgot to pick up while we were there the last time. So let's all head off into the Public Market. Oh yeah, this is going to be absolutely $100 juice, Sarah. <laughs> I bet that's the healthy shop. Closer look, damn it. Hey boys, uh, you mind if I stand on your table? I need this locker key, you see. Number four. I do love that they show up in the cutscenes, because that's for the sub stories, because it makes it a lot easier to find them sometimes. Hi. We have some special house food items in stock for a limited time. Can it look, sir? We need a bitter melon. Oh no. Wait. Piquasa, yep. Lemon. You know what? I have money. I can't carry more stuff? No. No. I have to. God damn it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna back out. Drink some items, which I can replace with money later. Just anything liquid. Put it in me. Okay. We need. We probably needed the local stuff too. Bitter melon. Shikwasa. Um. Salt. Sugar. Uh. Okay, we definitely need the lemon. That's true, too. So. God, we should really, uh. Let's take those out. Let's just grab the lemon. And then we'll find out if we're close to it. Maybe yes. she'll let us. Maybe she'll take the ingredients and let us bring back the other ingredients in a bit. That seems like wishful thinking, but I'm going to give it a try. Right, the out hole is in this direction. I hope you're right, Sarah! Wait, that's the soba. Ah, 
Hey, uh, let's see what you brought me. Ah, Goya. Yeah, this was nice and fresh with a healthy covering. Woo! -hoo! So Goya really means bitter melon. Ah. Oh, and you found some shikwasa. They're more sour lem lemons and perfect for my juice. But it cost you a fortune, though. Shikwasa works better than lemons. She should have told us that in the first place. This isn't enough for me to make a full batch of Goya juice, so gotta bring me more ingredients. Would help if I knew what to bring. Well, back to the public market, I suppose. There should be some Dugwai over there. It's a thorny plant. Good for soothing burns. Dugwai. Uh, actually, is there a save box nearby? No. Okay, well, can I dump the lemon? Discard. Yes. Oh, I can just discard things. Perfect. Bye, Toughness Infinity. I'm sure you were worth some money. Lemon. Eat it. Sarah's strategy is go back and buy the expensive things. I think that is a, a valid strategy. So, I mean, like, do you just want me to bring back some Tantakatan as well? Because everyone's always talking about Tantakatan. Okay, what's well, expensive? Island bananas? Sure. Um... God. Yeah, let's bring back the famous local water, because I'm pretty sure we're going to need it. Salt and sugar might be in there, too. We can always discard it, and... Island carrots, because they're island-based. And that seems like a thing that would happen. Okay, let's buy. We need the aloe, says brain better. Damn it! Okay! Uh, good. Right, because, yes, it's a thorny thing. Fudgy. Um, okay, that's fine. We're throwing money at the problem, which is a really, really good uh, system. Oh, extendable staff? Fudge right off. Uh, let's buy an aloe. Seems good. Okay, good. And we probably want the brown sugar too. Well, I mean, yeah, let's do that. I mean, let's let's go find out. Cause she prop she'll tell us what we want. Wow, three size is not a good sign. Out of my way, I'm a kid you. No, that's not the way out. That is the way out. At this point, I'm just willing to give her the items so we can make space for the brown sugar. Ah. Hey, see what he brought me here now. Love what we got. Oh, you found some Dugwai, did you? The source of vitality in my juice. So Dugwai means aloe. I never knew that. Or where I could have learned it. <laughs> well, look at this. Some nice looking Basani. And island Basani. These are some cost a pretty penny, but I bet they'll be more than tasty. The island bananas, okay, good choice there. So island bananas are more expensive and taste better than normal ones. Well, thanks, mister! Mm. This isn't enough for me to make a full batch, though. Gotta bring me more ingredients. It would help. They must be selling some kurizata over there. Kurizata? Wonder what that is. I think this is a black sugar. Black sugar. Kurizata. Yeah, you, you you absolutely called the brown sugar. 
but still feel good about our our setup here. Okay, what do we got that we can dump? I mean, let's throw some uh, nothing on the ground. I'm betting the water is going to be important. It's annoying because Japan has this wonderful snack. It's basically black sugar kind of drizzled over top of cheesies until it becomes extremely crunchy and sugary, and it's it's ooh, delicious. Yes, your brown. Give me the brownest of your sugar. Yeah, I think I, I think if we're making Goya juice, we pretty much have to use Goya. There is no premium Goya, because all Goya from Okinawa is premium Goya. And I can probably sell these ingredients at a pawn shop, because pawn shops love just taking old kitchen ingredients. <laughs> Kurizata, better than white sugar, and that's all the ingredients. Good, we're done. We're done. Really? Thank you so much for making the goya juice. Here you are, one fresh serving of goya juice made just for you. Wow, it's the mythical goya juice. It was real after all. Look, the Barsani and Dugwai are very important ingredients, too. You know that? Don't forget. I'm going to take this right to my mom. Thanks so much, ma'am. And you, too, mister. That was mighty kind of you, and I'm sure the juice will help the kid's mom get better. Well, aren't you the kindest fella? <laughs> Honestly, it felt right making a proper big batch of Goya juice after all this time. Folks reckon my juice packs some mythical medicinal punch and will cure any sickness, but to tell the truth, there's nothing mysterious about it no more. You see, back in my day, Busani, Lemons, and Dugwai were so darn expensive, almost no one could afford them. Just so happened our Goya juice was the healthiest things around, but these days nearly anything one can get their hands on those ingredients. Oh, Sarah, you're saying that there was a uh, alternative to aloe. That's interesting. I, I like it because, yeah, there was some uh, alternatives. But yeah, we, but apparently we did buy the best stuff we could, which is my modus operandi when it comes to making uh, recipes for show. Oh, you're saying there wasn't. Oh, ah, maybe there wasn't. Okay. That still fits with my modus operandi of, specifically, best ingredients. Well, to that kid, I'm sure it's the mythical remedy that his mum needs. Nothing could have been better. Even though you stopped making it years ago, a lot of people are still talking about it, and that alone tells me it's some incredible stuff. Thank you for lifting an old woman's spirits. Now, I gave you all the juice to that boy, but... This will fix you up right quick. <laughs> Fuck! Another energy drink. <sighs> I remember my grandmother in her old age uh, getting really into the, uh, the eating and drinking of aloe vera uh, kick. To the point where she just pick it off the, uh, off the plant peel back the green outer layer and just eat the interior and it was weird never I, I've not done that myself bonk oh many bonks oh Heshki 
you also want to be, uh... Oh wow! Okay, a lot of a lot of aloe vera eating topics in the uh, in the chat here. <laughs> Far too thick for Omadog Strix, but their partner loves it. Mister Man says it wasn't aware it was edible. Phil Hammer only has the exposure to them on the shelf next to the two liter green teas. Yep, yep, that's definitely somewhere I've seen it as well. Well, that's good to know, uh, Lita, because uh, I believe the ones with... And if the speckles are white, that was absolutely the kind that my grandmother had and did eat, and... Uh, probably that wasn't good. I mean, it probably wasn't bad for her, but it definitely wouldn't have been good then. She wasn't all the time always eating it, but it was a, uh, something she had done. Maybe when sick. Not anything I ever decided was a good idea to do, but, uh, let's send Haruka's chocolate, because we need to save Haruka's chocolate forever. Folks, I think that might just about do us for today's uh, stream. I don't think we want to get involved in another substory just right now, and I think we might actually be... Uh... You know what? Actually, let's see if we can make it safely to Karaoke Zone. And then we can... Uh... Oh god, it's the girls again. <sighs> Whatever those girls are into, you know it can't be good. Uh, let's let's do a quick Karaoke um, practice changing ourselves, and then, uh, yeah, let's call it a night. Oh god, yeah, Symphonic Bolita, I can absolutely see, uh, birds being big into eating some... Uh, I guess you're, you're back to bankruptcy, so we'll deal with that later. Yeah, definitely see birds being interested in, in eating that aloe. Alright, sing, and by sing I mean chant along to my daughter's song while she's not here. It's not weird at all. Sing karaoke. I want to change myself. Lively interjections! This intro is excruciating. Hey, 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 hey,
Ah. There we go. Yes, thank you, Sarah, for <laughs> illustrating. Yeah, karaoke has kind of become a, uh, a Tilty Host tradition for uh, the end of our Yakuza streams, because why not? Especially after six. God. Six had godly karaoke. That was good. 890, I think, is what is what Haruka might actually want from us. <laughs> Alright, well, we might as well do our song as well. Uh, which I believe was... Where is your touch gone? It's coming to show up. Lullaby. <laughs> Skylar, I think we probably got at least two... At least three... Uh, Dreams of, of three in it so far. Uh, looks like next game we're going to be playing will be Yakuza 4. Uh, six had the, uh, the fishing song, which was what I used. One of my uh, Desert Bus intro songs. It's worth checking out on YouTube. I took people out to recreate a uh, Yakuza karaoke bit. Uh, still have to get out to karaoke and do some Inka. But yeah, four and five are our last Yakuza games that are currently unplayed that are released. Um, looking forward to uh, getting to four and to five and to new games in the future. That'll be interesting when we actually get to the point where we need to, geez, make the switch or make the decision about what happens to... Uh, before that, yes, as Sarah points out, finally getting back to four, because we absolutely did play a bit of it uh, over on the Loading Ready Run channels on the Matters of Import stream while that was still an extant stream. Folks, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for joining us for another uh, few hours of this beautiful series of games that uh, just completely never fails to surprise and unfortunately in this particular era of the games uh has not been uh failing to disappoint on some of the plot threads but it's been fun i'm so happy to be able to play these with all of you all over at home uh thank you so much for your uh just watching thank you so much for your monetary contributions if you're dropping bits or subs in the channel we got a patreon over at patreon.com slash loading slash tilby house we do have that and uh, you, you can uh, help out uh, some of the podcasts uh, and other streams and stuff we do uh, there. Uh, check out, hey, check this out, the new podcast from Corey. Um, Coriander, Anna Wasserman, and uh, Josh Kagan. Uh, and it's cool stuff. Thank you, Forest Gaze, for uh, coming in with two months of subscription as well. Uh, joining us there. Um, happy to have you. Happy to see you, and we got to go, because it's the end of the stream. So, thanks so much, everyone. Um, who is not currently wrapping up raid-wise? You know what? Let's all head on over to Heather. Uh, she might be closing up, but let's do it anyway. Good night, folks. We'll see you next week.